when audio tape came into its own in the 60s, yeah. how did that affect your job? Did that help you, the technology, or, or was it uh, a problem? Or how, how did that, that transition where things could be recorded or pre-recorded? Well, uh, because of the Dick Clark law, everything was pre-recorded. It really was. There were very sh a few shows live. I happen to be doing one now, Macy's Thanksgiving Day show. That's live. And uh, Brad Lockman is the executive producer and wouldn't have it any other way. It's a live show. Johnny's show was a live show. All the uh, nighttime shows are live, so you don't need pre-recorded music on them. I use a lot of pre-recorded music on, uh, on Macy's because that way I can record the Rockettes number and give them the tape and they can rehearse to it. What about the, what about the numbers or the excerpts from musicals? It, it seems that the vocals at least are pre-recorded. They are. How, how is that done musically in terms of the final production? Well, uh, Brad or uh, Bill Skirmerhorn or all of us decide what show we, we're, we're going to do, what four shows we're going to do. And then I have a meeting generally with the choreographer, the music director, uh, and we try to figure, uh, Brad tells me how much time we have for each, <laughs> Brad or Bill Bracken, who was the producer, you got eight minutes, we need to get eight minutes out of uh, whatever show we're going to do. Then it just requires sitting down and figuring out where we're going to make the cuts, what we're going to do, and we pre-record, and uh, the day after pre-recording, they bring in the singers, and they overdub. Then we have to make a tape, or now you make on a DVD. Tape doesn't exist anymore, or a CD. And they can take it back and rehearse to it. So it pays to have those uh, pre-recorded. It eliminates a lot of mistakes that could be made, you know. And you can make a million on a live show. Uh, Mistakes are by the barrel. They really are because, for example, on Macy's, there are a lot of floats that come down. Now they turn a corner. One float could get too close to a corner and crack up. So Brad or Bill, somebody's got to say to me, we're dumping whatever that float is coming down, get the music for whatever's following it. That part of it is sure live and... and and there's a kind of hassle to, you know, keep in step.